Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. I am making fafra today. Fafra is a very famous Gujarati snacks. Generally, the snacks should be eaten with uh, tea in the morning, but there is no rule for the fafra. Gujarati can eat fafra any time of the day. It's very easy to make. If you follow this step by step instruction, you will be pro in fafra in no time. So let's start making our fafra. So to make the fafra, I am taking one cup of chickpea flour, one fourth cup of water. 1/8 teaspoon of papad karo if you don't have papad karo you can also use baking soda half teaspoon of hing or asafoetida half teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of carom seed or is also known as ajwain and then i'm going to use 3 teaspoon of oil so let's start making our fafra so first in a bowl i'm going to take 1/4 cup of water and papad karo and just mix everything very nicely so all the papad karo dissolve in the water nicely so you will have even consistency of the papad karo and water now keep this aside so here in a bowl i'm going to take 1 cup of chickpea flour 1/2 teaspoon of asafoetida 1/2 teaspoon of black pepper 1/2 teaspoon of carom seeds and 3 teaspoon of oil now mix everything together make sure to break the lumps with your hands now i'm going to add my water little bit at a time and mix it make sure to add little bit water at a time you don't need too much water now add a little bit more now i'm adding some salt Again, mix everything together nicely. Now knead this dough like this for at least three to four minutes. So your dough will be very nice, soft, and fluffy. So I feel like it's a little bit watery. So I just add half teaspoon of chickpea flour. Sometimes it's happen when you have like uh, different consistency of the flour. So go by the experience and your feel. So now, as you can see, our dough is ready. Now I'm going to take little bit of oil in the palm, and then I'm going to knead my dough in the palm. Now I'm taking little bit oil in the palm and take my dough and just knead it like this. Scrape the rest of the dough from with the help of spoon. Whenever you feel sticky, just take a little bit of oil in the palm and then start kneading. And then keep kneading. The more you knead, the more softer your fafra will be. So our fafra dough is ready. This should be the consistency. When you pinch it, it feels like a play dough. So the consistency is like a play dough. See like this. Make the little bit little ball out of it. Now I'm going to make cylindrical ball out of it. Now let's start making our papra. For that, I'm applying little bit of oil on my wooden chopping board. You can take anything which is wooden, so this will give you a very nice result. Then I am taking one ball, 
then I'm putting it like this from the back of my palm from here I'm going to apply equal amount of pressure just press and drag it like this here so your fafda is already pressed now you need to use the knife to peel from the chopping board I'm using this knife it is very fine and you can see as it's bendable like this it's very thin knife you can also use this knife but it's recommend to use the as thin knife as possible let me show you how to peel this just keep your knife like this and then just pass it through the fafra like this here you have your fafra is ready let me show you what gonna happen when you use the regular knife then you just drag like this here now I'm using the regular knife I try to find as thin knife as possible so take this one and drag see you can still make the fafra but it's gonna shrink like this so you can see the difference this one I have used the thin knife and this one I have used I use the regular knife. But I try to use the thin as thin as possible. Still it's gonna shrink the fafra and it's not gonna come out that good. So let me show you one more time. Just keep it like this and drag. And then just pass your knife through the fafra. And there you have your fafra is ready. Now you just need to fry this. So I already have my pan, pan heated so let's fry it. So here my oil is ready. Let's check with drop off the dough and now it's ready. So I just fry my puff now. As you can see you see the bubble. See it's nice and fluffy. This will happen when you knead the dough very good. Now I'm going to take it out. So here my fafra is ready now. Let me serve with uh, all the chutneys. So here I have my papaya and cabbage sambaro and basin chutneys ready. Now I'm going to serve my fafra. If you want you can add some masala on the top. Here I have made black salt and red chili powder. So I am just going to sprinkle on top of the fafra. This is totally optional. If you want you can just add some masala on top of the fafra. This will give you a very nice tangy taste. So my fafra is ready to eat. I'm sure you're gonna try making fafra at home. I'll see you with the next recipe. Till then, happy cooking.